Hi, this is uh, Philip Wilson. We're here at the Emiliani's pre-April extravaganza, Atlantic City at the Taj Mahal, which is like, I mean, what was on this stage was mind-blowing. And I'm here with uh, a real good buddy of mine of many, many years, Robert Chromians. And Robert and I were the first two to uh, get up there and get this rocking. Well, actually, I think I was second in line to Philip because he had no. created an example of a show where there was a lot of camaraderie. And after a stunt on stage, instead of taking a beautiful, egotistical bow, he instead brought his audience on stage, some of the fellow platform artists, and this created a little bit of hoopla. It's not usual for us to work with each other, and no. I think that's no. what started the inspiration. And uh, right after I heard Philip's story, I was immediately said, yeah, I'll sign up for that. I'd love to be involved in it. And here we are today, and this is magical. I don't know how you visualize the press conference. I was so excited there was more than just two people here. <laughs> uh, so just looking at it, I visited some of the stores. They have huge billboards yep. up in every single store. Yep. We know modern salons covering it. I've yep. seen some beautiful things there. There's blonde some Maggie commitment. Mulhern, that blonde chick. We've heard about her. Uh, there's one She does sexy those late lady. night shows next oh, to HBO. Yeah. By the way, Mary, there's nothing in that. I just think she's sexy. Carry on. <laughs> he was a... It, but it, but it should, it, Robert and I have discussed this. It's not just, I mean, it's, it's the young generation. It's all categories. It, 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 I think it's got to get into that place of, well, I've been hairdressing 35 years. It's just another show. And then you get a young one who says, well, the other guy told me it's just going to be like a boring swap meaty thing. I ain't going to bother. You've got to cut that out. This is state of the art. It's never been done before. The people that were sat up there and, and Robert and I included in that, this never been done before. This is a one-off, man. If it happens again, I would love to be in on it. But I'll need to know, is he doing it? Then <laughs> I'll do it. So this time, I'll wait to hear from him. Uh, oh, I think it'll be so much... You know, you're only as good as the people you hang around. Now, he doesn't know this. When I was a kid, I wondered how this guy had a crowd. How the <laughs> hell does that guy have a crowd and I don't have a crowd? <laughs> now, inspiration comes from different things. Yeah, sometimes yeah. it's inspiration, sometimes it's desperation. It comes in different yep, ways. Yep, yep. You may come to the show and go, I'm better than these guys. Well, the message to you is, it's your turn next. Yep. The reality is, until you gauge around other guys, you don't know what you got. Uh, you know, just hearing some of the words tonight, I can't believe, you know, when they said, you're going to MC, I go, they're not going to like that. They go, <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, these guys watch me and they may compete with me, but they know what it is I do to a crowd. We know what Philip does and the fact that we're surrounded by guys. Yeah. You know, uh, I work with these guys. I have been stealing from these guys more than I, I should be arrested for what I've stolen from this group of people. No, we've all stolen from and, you and, as well, and, so and don't that, worry about that's it. That's the thing is that's what we got to really help understand. So if we're only as good as the people that we hang around, it is important for you, the viewer, to get around these people because yeah. the one thing about any other show uh, if it's a Paul Mitchell show, we're going to give you Paul Mitchell thoughts. If it's any other company, this is an absolute smorgasbord of different talents and ideas. Yeah. And it's only truly when you see all different ideas, like religion, you can truly make a good decision yourself. We had a question today, what attracts you? Why should you get involved? The companies have to speak to your heart. That's our yeah, job. I agree. We don't I have agree. to wave a banner, Paul no. Mitchell. All we got to do is hit your heart, and you'll make the right choice. The first key, if you're going to become like us, is pick a company that speaks to your heart. Yeah. After that, the rest becomes and easy. And that's not easy. When you get a company, normally their, their intentions are sell, sell, sell. And if we generate revenues for what you need in education department to do shows, you'll have that revenue. And as Robert said, him and we're, we were not talking about the manufacturers we represent tonight because that's not where we're at. But the cool thing is, it's, it's like there's people in this industry that are in. Don't misunderstand us. We're not saying that you shouldn't be talking about a manufacturer because they are the ones that give us the platform. Like with me, with Jim Markham and Colorproof, you, know, you can say that all night long. Here's the bottom line. We are not in April. It's all about the hairdresser. And Robert's jokingly, you know, about takes from people. And there's, we all do that. The day anyone on that platform says, I learn from no one, everybody learns from me. You know what, dude? It's time for you to pack up that suitcase and head south. You're done. I, I've watched him a thousand times. He says he pinches from me. I pinch from him. He is, and the reason, let me just clarify MC, because I sort of had a bit of the dealing with that when Andre said, who should do it? I chose him to do it. I didn't want to say I'm going to be the MC. I said, if Robert will accept to do it, and he'll jam up there and do hair, we got a good gig. Because no one, he, he, my wife will tell you this, he's one of the best creative, and listen, my wife is 
I mean, she ran Matrix, and she, you know, my, she's pretty adamant about who she compliments. She says he's one of the finest artists, business, parentheses on business, one of the best minds in the industry. So for me personally, and I'll say this on camera, I'm honored to be standing with him. I'd love him. He's brilliant. And you know what? We don't want to step down because it just wouldn't be good for the industry. So we're just going to keep going. Wheelchairs and all, we'll still be doing it. <laughs> Atlantic City, April. Taj Mahal, yeah. April. I know it because it's my birthday. I'm going to turn 50 on the 17th. So 50 the on the 17th? I'll Correct. be 40. And I'm still using my original heart. You'll get that joke later. <laughs> <laughs> I've already got it. I've already got it. But bottom line, and, and Maggie, thanks for letting us do this because like, we'd love what you to do. But for, for us to be doing it together, that's really cool, man. That is, that's extremely cool. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. You, Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank Bye -bye. you.